Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing a collective haul. Now, I got a lot of packages around me. Don't really know what's in it. So let's get right into it. <laughs> and there's one item where well, there's a bunch of this particular item. I can already hear the screams in the comment section. So let's go ahead and get this out the way. Yes, I have candles in the haul. Okay. Okay. Now, so this first item, I actually already had one and something happened to it and it stopped working. So I ordered another one because I think that these are great. So it comes with a top that goes over here to keep it protected. This is what it looks like. Okay. Super cute. And it's to like light your candles and different things. So. You power it on by pushing that up and then you light it. I don't know if you can see it with this light. See the light, see the fire? And you light your candles with it. And I absolutely love it. When it dies, you just charge the battery. And this button here, push it down to power it off to keep the, the charge. So I'm gonna put the top on here I absolutely love it. It bends and everything. a company and I'll put their link in the description there's a company called the curl box and you can order like um, subscriptions for hair products that help to keep your hair moisturized and curled okay and I ordered this particular box that comes with oils to keep your hair moisturized this box of products was ten dollars and I love it because you can try new products from your hair and see what you like. So this is um, this is by Royal Oils. I love this packaging. So you have this. It's a curl box. Hey, curl friend, show off your style. We want to see how you use this product. This how. <laughs> hey, curl friend, show off your style. We want to see how you use the products in this month's box. Tag us with hashtag curlbox on Instagram and show off these products. So I may do that. We'll see. Get my hair braided tomorrow, so it'll be later. This must be the owner. I'm not really sure. It says, hey, queen, whether it's a crown of braids or a regal set of twists, head and shoulders, royal oils has everything you need to maintain gorgeous, healthy, protective styles while you're working on your strands. Here are a few motivating I guess tips, style tips. So there's some tips to use these products. I'm gonna keep that. And then it's in black tissue paper. And these aren't trial size, you guys. These are regular sizes and I paid $10 for what's in this box. So you have a, a, a scrunchie that says Royal Oils for your hair. So this is perfect. I can use it with my braids. This is the refreshing root rinse it has aloe water and hemp oil so that's a root rinse which will be perfect while i have braids to keep my scalp clean hair refreshing mint with aloe water and hemp oil also perfect because i have a aloe um leaf in my bathroom right now i'm getting ready to pre-poo my hair and get it ready for getting it done tomorrow this is the nighttime scalp tonic lotion so you rub this on your scalp at night also has aloe water and hemp and this is the frizz tamer with aloe water and hemp smooths and tames emerging hair for protective styles braids and locks and again this product is made by head and shoulders i had never heard of this product and so that's the purpose of the sus subscription box so that you can purchase at a small price items that you've never tried before and you can give them a try and see 
if they're going to work for your hair. So I am going to absolutely love this product, Royal Oils. I'm excited about these. I've already opened them because I used them this morning. Every year, Oprah has her favorite things. And since she doesn't have her uh, TV show anymore, she does it on Amazon. And I ordered some reading glasses from her list of favorite things. They're, they're called peepers. The link will be down in the description box. I think they were $27 a piece. They are absolutely cute. I love them. I got two colors. I got this pretty blue. Can you see it? I got this pretty blue. And I actually thought this was kind of turquoisey, but I like this blue too. And I also got this. I don't know if it's rose or brown or what, but I thought this would be perfect with my skin. And these are, again, these are reading glasses. And I absolutely need reading glasses. As I get older, I wear contacts when I'm not wearing glasses. And as I get older, I've noticed that the smaller the writing, the more my eyes jump as I'm trying to read them on the page. So I'm giving in to what the eye doctor has told me for years, get reading glasses. And so these are the two pairs that I got off of Amazon for Oprah's favorite things. Now you guys know that I've recently ordered a crossbody that my phone goes in and I absolutely love it, I do. But one thing I, I noticed about the one that I ordered first is it's kind of thin and the plastic part is, is, is starting to tear. So I got a leather one and this is actually vegan leather but I think it's going to be sturdier than the previous one. So your phone goes in here and you just put it down in between here. And when you have your purse, you can use your phone there. Where is my phone? Oh, here's my phone here. So... It will go in that slot and then you can use it from here. So this one is a little bigger. The other one was really thin. This one is a little bigger, but I don't mind that at all because the one problem that I had with that bag is I didn't have enough compartments for my stuff. So in here, you have a place for your credit cards and you have space for stuff. And you also, have this little compartment but now this compartment what i like about this is it snaps on so you can either take this you can take just this or you can use them together it's really up to you it comes with a wrist strap and it comes with a crossbody strap so i am really going to enjoy this is by oki oko susi and um, it is vegan leather. And I think it's going to be super amazing for me because it feels like the right size. So got this. It's going to be in the description box. Now, so this is the first candle. These are bath and body candles. This one is called Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. I've never smelled these. It just smells like fall. It smells like pumpkin pies cooking. I never smelt some of these, but I got them because they had a $12.95 candle sale. And I don't always get to, to make the candle sale that they have in December. And the candles are going to be probably $10 or $11 anyway. So I went ahead and got the candles that I was going to get at the candle sale during this sale. This next candle is called Bourbon Maple. And I wasn't really, mm, this smells like bourbon pancakes. You know, I've been really into this scent lately. The um, sugar-free syrup that I'm putting in my coffee this month is bourbon pecan waffle or something. This smells delicious. It smells like something good to eat for breakfast. 
Okay, this is pumpkin vanilla cream. Mmm. Another good fall scent. It smells like what it says, pumpkin and vanilla. Harvest pomegranate. This is a beautiful candle. Mmm. It smells... It smells more like apple to me than pomegranate. Rich pomegranate, fresh pick apple, sweet sweet black palm. Rich pomegranate, freshly picked apples, and sweet black palms with natural essential oils. That's it. Smells. I the apple is overpowering. The apple is overpowering it. I smell more of the apple, but it smells good. I can tell it's gonna burn good. Okay, honey wildflower. I already know I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh, crisp pear, fresh wildflowers, and sweet honey. Mmm. This is so light and fresh and citrusy. This is going to be awesome. That's going to be an awesome burn. And I'm going to have to really catch myself burning those types of candles first because I'm ready for my house to really take on like the fall scent. So I'm going to have to really take note not to burn those first. Okay, this one is crisp morning air. I think I had this one. Yes. Woohoo! I love that one. I've had that one before. Crisp morning air, you guys. It smells like fresh linen. It smells like clothes hanging on the line. It smells like a spa day. That don't that's what that those kind of scents remind me of. Mahogany apple. I love anything apple. Mm. This smells like a man. It smells like a man and apple. <laughs> what a what a description. Red mahogany wood, golden delicious apple, pink peppercorn, fresh lavender springs. I smell all of that. It gives it kind of a manly, a manly scent. I just walked in the door from getting my nails done. It's the first time I've had nails in a minute, so we'll see how I keep them. White pumpkin. Some of these are Bath and Body. Some are White Barn. Ooh. This smells kind of manly too, believe it or not. It's fall, but it's manly. I love it. Ooh, this is pretty. I love this color. Raspberry mimosa. That rose gold is so nice. Oh, this is my favorite. The raspberry in here is, oh, smell it. I know, right? Smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, this is a pretty pink candle. Wild berry jam donut. Out of all of these, the only ones that, one that I ever had before was the crisp morning air. The rest of these are new. I don't know how I feel about this. This smells just like a donut. I smell the dough. It smells like a donut. Sweet wild berry jam, powdered donut, brown sugar crum crumble. It smells more like the donut. We'll see how it burns, though. That's the thing. It's, it's not really what it smells like in the container. What does it smell like when it burns? Because there could be a difference. I'm not disappointed. If And you know what? If I light it and don't like it, did you know you could take it back to Bath and Body and get your money back? Yeah, or trade it for another candle. You sure can. And this is the last one, you guys. This is Open Sky. This is so pretty. Ooh. Another manly scent. Like, this is the third manly scent. I like these, though. I really like these. I really like this. So out of all the ones that I got, my favorite is Chris Moon and Air, um, White Pumpkin, Mahogany Apple, and Open Sky. Oh, and the Raspberry. I love them. You know what? I'm going to enjoy them all. But those are my top five, so I'm probably going to burn the other ones first and see how I like it because like I said you can't always get the full 
gist of it just by what it smells like in the container you gotta burn it so i hope you guys love this haul it wasn't a lot of stuff but i did want to share it with you i'm trying to get better with sharing with you the things that i purchased because i know you guys like to see that as well so this is how you order things for your mobile home you guys i hope you enjoyed this video just a little more personal than torn homes i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next video see you later